this far, if you passed PT school or are about to graduate PT school, you can pass this exam. This is the last thing standing in your way between your dream of becoming a physical therapist. And if you just put in the work every single day for like four months or so, you can absolutely do it. Hey guys, it's Kristen. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am a new grad physical therapist by the time you guys are watching this video and that sounds so absolutely crazy to say because I have been vlogging for the past three years since before I even started my physical therapy program. So my typical intro is me saying I'm a doctor of physical therapy student. But now, by the time you guys watch this, I will have already had my graduation because it is this upcoming weekend, and I passed my boards exam last week, so I am officially a doctor of physical therapy, which is still so surreal. It hasn't hit me yet. I'm sure it will hit me when I start working. In today's video, I'm going to be talking all about how I prepared for and passed my NPTE, which is the National Physical Therapy exam, the boards exam that you have to take in order to get your PT license and then start actually working. I have my planner here with me um, because I wanted to kind of take you guys through the whole timeline of everything. I sat for the April NPTE, which this year that fell on April 26th. If you didn't know, the exam is only offered four times a year in January, April, July, and October, I believe. So it's not like you can take it whenever you want. There are very set time points as to when you can take it. And I know every PT school is different. Some schools like won't let their students take it before they graduate like I did. I took it in April, I graduated in May. And some schools like mine sort of encourage you to take it before you graduate while all the material is fresh. I will say preparing for boards while in my final full-time 12-week clinical rotation was so exhausting and so challenging. So I'll just say, you know yourself, and if you know that you can't study after a long day of treating patients and you don't want to spend all of your weekends for like three or four months hold up studying, definitely take it after you graduate because it's kind of a drop everything for three to four months sort of situation when you're preparing for board. So take those things into account when you're trying to decide on your exam. Ultimately, I decided to take it in April because I was living at home for my last rotation, so I had my parents really, really helping and supporting me, pretty much doing all my like chores, meal prepping, and all I had to focus on was my rotation and studying. So I really was in a position where I could drop everything and sort of just focus on this exam for those months. And I also just really wanted to get it out of the way so then this summer before I start working at the end of June, I can enjoy my summer and relax and go on some trips and not be studying. So that is what factored into my decision. So with that being said, the test was the end of April. And this is where I'm going to look in my planner so I can give you guys like an exact timeline of everything. Um, okay, so December 10th and 11th, we were on campus and we had a score builders review course, which score builders is one of the main like prep companies for the NPTE. I'll insert a video of like the review book I have because it's not my new apartment. Um, but they sell like a huge thick like course review and study guide book pretty much. It comes with three exams and that is what a lot of people use to prepare for the NPTE, either the score builders book or therapy ed also has a really popular review book. But we had someone from the company come in for two days and really just talk all about like what is the NPTE, what is the format of it, here are some sample style questions, here's some study tips, everything like that. Four months before the exam, that was sort of the first thought in my head. Okay, how am I going to study? When am I going to take the exam? Sort of getting my game plan into play, if you will. If you will. But I didn't start studying then because that was right before the holidays, obviously. I did start listening to some podcasts on Spotify and Apple Music. I, th I think it's on Apple Music, too. The NPTE Clinical Files by Kyle Rice. He is so popular, so I know you guys probably already know of him, but... He has a podcast, basically like 10 to 15 minute episodes where it is just an example question and he goes through all the answer choices and talks about them a little bit. So I started listening to that pretty much then mid-December and I swear mid-December until I took my exam, every single time I was in the car, 
I would turn on his podcast and I'm pretty sure I finished every single episode like when it was getting down to like the week week or two before the exam I was like running out of episodes to watch I was scrolling all the way down to like his first episodes in like 2017 so I definitely recommend to do that because if you're gonna be in your car anyways you might as well just be like sort of passively absorbing content and getting some study strategies and after the score builders review course I really kind of knew that just sitting down and studying with a prep book wasn't really gonna work for me. It just seemed miserable in my opinion, like passively reading, taking notes on thousands of pages of material just seemed so, so overwhelming. So I started looking into other options and PTE Final Frontier is something I have known about for so, so long. They're at CSM combined sections meeting every single year. They have a booth there. I know several people that have used their program to prepare for the NPTE in the past. I'm gonna insert screen recordings here so it's a little bit easier for you guys to like understand what I'm talking about rather than just have me talking. But Final Frontier is an 11 week program and you can either do the live version, which is where you can attend like the Zoom lectures live, but that's a little bit more expensive, so I personally did the independent study bundle, which you just get like the Zoom recording, which that is totally fine for me. That allows you to work at your own pace and be a little bit more flexible. And it's not just like a boring lecture from class. These lectures are so, so engaging. They give you mnemonics. They give you fun little ways to remember things. And while I was taking my NPTE, like I kept like thinking of those stories and those mnemonics and those ways to remember things. And I honestly don't know what I would have done if I didn't have that and I just was reading my little score builders or therapy ed review book um, like in a boring more classic way of studying so I personally believe that is the reason that I passed the NPTE is because of Final Frontier it is I believe $300 but Final Frontier is so nice and they actually gave me a discount code for you guys so if you use Kristen N10 which I'll put here on the screen I believe that you get 10% off. This is not sponsored at all. They are not paying me to say any of this. I did get free access to the study bundle, but I 100% was about to purchase it with my own money because I had heard such great things about it. Their company is literally on the APTA website as a recommended study source for the NPTE. So it is like very validated, very proven. They have a really big following on social media and I cannot recommend it to you guys more. But every day for 11 weeks, they have a calendar that tells you which lecture video to watch and which like supplemental reading to do. The supplemental readings are literal, literal scannings from the therapy ed prep book, from textbooks that are direct sources used to write the NPTE style questions. Everything you need to prepare for the boards exam is within Final Frontier. I believe the independent study bundle comes with two exams as well as one or two like 50 question quizzes and their exams are the full 250 questions which I really really liked because all in all I took three three score builders exams the two final frontier exams and the two peats so all in all I took seven practice tests and the score builders ones are only 200 questions and the real NPTE is 250 so don't you think you should be practicing like for the full marathon if you will you wouldn't go running a marathon having only trained like for three quarters of it so I personally loved the final frontier practice exams I think they were way more similar to the PEAT and the actual MPTE then the score builders exams, I personally did not like score builders. I actually did have the prep book. I didn't purchase it, but I got it used from one of my friends and then I just bought the access code to have access to the three exams because obviously she had already used them last year when she took the NPTE, but definitely, definitely like the Final Frontier practice exams better. I did have that score builders book, but I honestly didn't really use it. Like the two to three weeks before the exam, if I had a little bit more extra time, I was like skimming through um, to try to kind of see, okay, is there anything in here that wasn't really covered in my Final Frontier cohort? And if so, like, let me just review it quickly. And honestly, there wasn't. Like, they're pretty, pretty similar, like content-wise. It's just a matter of how the material is presented, like printed in a book versus like lectures and 
interactive. I went through the 11-week cohort with one of my best friends in my program, and I cannot recommend doing that more because then you have someone to sort of talk to about it and go through it together. And you also get access to a Facebook group, so if you have a question, you can literally just type um, a question about a concept or anything, and someone on the Final Frontier team will like immediately reply with a very in-depth answer. And even if you're not the one asking questions, I would go on like every day and just scroll and see like what other people were asking. And I'd be like, oh my gosh, wow, that's a really good question. Like I totally wouldn't even have like thought to ask that. And then now, now I know. So, so aside from following the Final Frontier study bundle to a T, I also did daily questions of the day. I had the PT365 app as well as the NPTE Final Frontier app and they both have a question of the day so you can test your knowledge and sort of be exposed to a little more information just on a regular basis. Taking practice exams obviously is also super important. Like I said, I took seven practice exams I believe and I know a lot of people say like take one before you even start studying to say where to see where you're at but I don't really agree with that because I think that'll just make you feel horrible about yourself. What I did, because this was in the Final Frontier like outline, they tell you when to take your practice exams. I reviewed for like a few weeks and then I took it and it was kind of after I had reviewed the more like basic material, you know, like what you learned the first semester or two of PT school, just kind of refreshing those basics, muscles, dermatomes, myotomes, reflexes, all of that and then sit for your first practice exam. And then after that, I think there was an exam like about every other week, and then as you got like a month out from the exam, you were taking a practice exam every single week. And my scores just consistently like started rising from week to week to week. And that's how I knew that this program was working really well for me because with every lecture and reading that I did, my score just kept continuing to improve. So that was like really satisfying, honestly. And I know after taking like a four or five hour practice exam, especially if you did well on it, you got a good score, it's tempting to just like be like, okay, I'm doing well and not look at it ever again. But honestly, take that day off if you need to, but then the very next day, as soon as you can, review that exam and not just the questions you missed also the questions that you got right because a lot of times I would get it right but it's because I like was between two and I happened to guess the right one for example or maybe I had never heard of a term in one or two of the answer choices I got right so you really can learn so so much by going through your practice exams so what I would do is Again, I'll insert a screen recording here, is I would open a Word document and just take tons of notes about everything I didn't know. That way when I was like a week or two out from test day, I could just like scroll through on my laptop and read all those notes and have like quick refreshers in my mind. So I definitely, definitely recommend you guys and do as that. As far as the peats go, the peat is something that you can buy from the state, the FSBT, the Feder Federation State Board of Physical Therapy, I'm pretty sure. The people who write the NPTE pretty much. You can pay $99 and get two like mock NPT exams directly from them. And they're supposed to be like the gold standard predictor of like, if you're gonna pass the NPTE, they give you like what they predict your score to be, like between a certain range. And it's supposed to help you like go in with confidence to the exam. My school made us take one about a month out. So I took that on March 25th. So pretty much exactly a month before the exam. And on that, I scored a 700, and the NPT scored out of 800, passing is everything over 600. So after that, I was feeling really, really excited. I was feeling like I was in a good place because obviously I still had a month to refine things, but I did get well over the passing score. So I just kept going along the next four weeks, following my cohort, um, doing my readings, everything to a T, and then I took my second peat a week before the exam. So I took that April April 15th, so I guess a little bit before a week. Um, and that was the very, very last practice test I took. And I got the exact same score that I got on the prior one. But so. overall, the takeaway message, NPTE Final Frontier prepared me so, so well, and I absolutely love their message and everything that they stand for. If you don't pass with them, they let you like go through the program again. 
Um, they're always there to support you and motivate you. It's just such a great community of people to go through the NPTE process with. And my friend and I that did the program were joking, like, we're going to miss the lectures, we're going to miss David and Dr. Singh and all of the the NPTE Final Frontier team because they just absolutely are so, so awesome. Also, just one thing I wanted to say, your preparation for PT school is going to prepare you for the NPTE. If you made it this far, if you passed PT school or are about to graduate PT school, you can pass this exam. This is the last thing standing in your way between your dream of becoming a physical therapist. And if you just put in the work every single day for like, four months or so you can absolutely do it i know that you guys can and i wish you all the best of luck and if you have any questions at all i will be more than happy to answer them down below i love you guys so so much and i will talk to you in my next video bye like fighting so it's so